Grade 6, Science and Technology, Interacting with Computing Devices. Today, we are going to look at spreadsheets. A spreadsheet is used to handle data. A spreadsheet is a computer application that is used to arrange, to calculate, and to sort the data. An example of a spreadsheet is Microsoft Excel. Today, we are going to open a Microsoft Excel in our computer and see how it is used. So, switch on your computer and when it is on, you click the start button at the bottom left. That's what happens. So you go to all programs and select all programs. That's the, those are the items you find under all programs. Then you, you go to Microsoft Office. You click on it. That's what happens. And we want to choose Microsoft Excel. So we click there. And then it opens. So that is Microsoft Excel. We are going to look at the features in Microsoft Excel and learn more about them. At the top of the Microsoft Excel, we have the Microsoft Excel title bar. That is the title bar at the top. It is written book one. And below that, we have this bar. It is called the menu bar. It has home, insert, page layout, formulas, data, review, and view. That is the menu bar. Now, here we have this bar, which is called the address bar where we have A1, that is the address bar. And this bar here is the formula bar, which displays the contents of the active cell. All right. Now, we have these rectangles here. These are the cells. These are the cells. But the cell which is selected, this cell here, is the active cell and a cell is identified by a letter and a number like this cell is identified by a1 so it appears in the address bar as a1 if you click here that is going to be your active cell or the selected cell it's identified by letter c and number four so it is c4 now we have cells which are arranged horizontally these horizontal cells they form a row that is a row and a row is identified by a number that is row number four row number five row number six and so on so a row is identified by using numbers and it is made of made up of horizontal cells now we also have columns columns are vertical cells which are identified using letters this is letter d and those are the vertical cells that form that column, column D, that is column E, column F, and so on. Now, if you look at the bottom here, we have sheets, sheet 1, sheet 2, sheet 3. So, these are the worksheets, worksheet 1, worksheet 2, worksheet 3, 
and if you click here you can create another you can create another and many others now this worksheets they contain the data like worksheet one it may contain the data like you can you can have like 12 here 23 56 41 this is our data in this worksheet in column D this is these are our this is our data and so worksheets are the spreadsheets that contain data and many worksheets make up a workbook this one is worksheet 1 worksheet 2 worksheet 3 worksheet 4 and so on many worksheets they make up a workbook and then the name of the workbook appears in the title bar like this book one workbook one which is made of these worksheets so those are the features that we have in a microsoft excel